More news from James Allen about Ferrari. You're going to love this, guys. One of my colleagues has just asked Sean Todd for television what the problem is with Eddie Irvine. And guess what he said? The brakes! <laughs> brakes. Eddie Irvine's got a brake for Martin Brundle. Our seer has got it absolutely right. Our prophet. And uh, Michael Schumacher doesn't seem to be having that brake problem. All four discs are biting that. I feel very sorry for Eddie Irvine, actually, if he's fought so hard and at this stage of the race, he gets a brake problem. Mika Hakkinen hasn't got one. Lap 66. And uh, it's going to be 10 points for Hakkinen, 6 points for Coulthard, 4 points for Schumacher, I think. I wonder if James can go and ask them if it's the handbrake or the footbrake. Now, uh, here we are, in all seriousness, Eddie Irvine, who no words of mine can say how well I think of Eddie for how he has controlled and looked after his number two position in the Ferrari team. That is the clear understanding contractually as opposed to Coulthard and Hakkinen where there are no team orders of that kind. That's absolutely correct but there's some there's some suggestion that the two Ferraris can actually the two drivers can actually speak to each other in fact a very strong suggestion they have the ability to communicate and there's absolutely nothing wrong in that there's nothing illegal about that and I'm rather impressed if they can do such a thing in fact I'm quite amazed that uh, one driver can talk to another with any kind of transmission quality. So Irvine moves wide a bit, Schumacher has a look, I think Schumacher will be up into third place by the next corner and you'll notice they still haven't taken Jarno Trulli, this is the corner that's caused so much trouble, the one that Fisichella and Prenton and, and uh, Lacey and they're coming together on, the two Ferraris do not but it's where Ralph Schumacher successfully held his brother back for lap after lap. So we're on lap 68 now. Just three laps to go at the end of this one with a seemingly certain McLaren victory. It would be the sixth of the year, four for Mika Hakkinen and one for David Coulthard if it happens. Just a few miles to go. Now, where is it going to happen? I bet you £50 he passes him on the next lap, Murray. Into turn one, well, I'm probably. I'm not taking that, Martin. I'm not stupid. <laughs> Eddie Irvine, holds, Eddie Irvine holds his third place coming out of the last turn and Mika Hakkinen now is coming through, climbing up towards turn two and sure enough this is where it's going to happen. Eddie Irvine moves over and Michael Schumacher does not dive through. I'm very surprised. Now, Irvine now, running a little wide out turn one, actually getting the wheels onto the dust, which would be not intentional at all, but clearly gives Michael an easy run up the inside into two. And uh, side by side, the two Ferraris, Michael uh, smoking the brakes, gone in a little bit deep, but takes away that podium position. And Irvine, for once, is not looking like he's going to be standing on that rostrum. But you know, things can change even in the last two laps. Yeah. There it is again. I struggle to get that excited about it.